what is going on guys and welcome back to another video today we are inside my canopy where a lot of the bus speed george videos are made but today we decided to call it a night a little early the guys are already in bed it's a really what 10 48 and uh, i am not sleepy at all i'm a little hungry too so we might be cooking a meal a little later but i wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the programs that i use and uh, at the same time just show you guys exactly what goes behind the scenes when we are out exploring and editing and making all this content happen for all you guys to enjoy back at home. So the program that I use to edit all my videos is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I've been using this program for about a year and a half or so. And before this program, I was using iMovie. Yeah, I was using iMovie filming with my phone and uh, that worked, but obviously after a while, I wanted to step up my game and uh, I decided to take a whole entire week off of YouTube and uh, actually went back on YouTube and watched a ton of videos on Adobe Premiere Pro. And I was able to learn the basics um, of this program to make my videos a lot better. Well, I think a lot better. But uh, yeah, this program has definitely helped um just take my whole entire cinematography skill to a different level and it's not so much me but it's the program itself that allows me to do that and uh it's been it's been pretty fun knowing this program and uh just making the content a lot better for you guys so after a quick edit this is our timeline this is about 40 seconds in um, of the original uh, take or the footage so what I did is I layered up key visual takes I guess you could say uh, we call it b-roll um, and I layered it on top of the regular timeline and now what we have is this check it out so we're going to talk about the ray caddy today yep this is an item that i've been using for quite some time now and uh, i've been meaning to make a video and as we were here i told hi man why don't we just make a video together yeah, and have him talk about the product itself and uh tell us a little bit about it yeah i think it's it's so nice like a kind of a clinic yeah you know, like a product clinic is what you would consider it and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's also such an interesting product in the sense that there's not anything similar to it on the mm. market. It's gonna be pretty fun for you and I to go through your favorite parts of the Rick Hattie V2, and I can go from a designer and owner of Easy Supplies okay. and kind of maybe answer some questions if you have some that you think would come to your mind for customers um, and stuff that you've wanted to ask me about it too. So first of all, aside from the product, I, I love being able to support one of my really good friends, yeah. David. So basically the B-Roll just overlaps, um, not necessarily a voiceover, because this is not a voiceover, this is just a full on take of what we're talking about, but you can do either or a voiceover or a full take. Um, basically the layer of footage that I just added just kind of <laughs> interprets or illustrates the visuals of whatever we're explaining and uh, this is basically what I do for every single video uh, that you do see on my channel whether it's a review or a full-on adventure camp cook explore video but it does take some time and uh, it's usually done here in-house either inside the canopy or at home and uh, I'm just so glad to be able to show you guys a little bit of the the behind the scenes of what goes on we are barely 40 seconds in we have another 10 minutes to go so it takes some time and uh, when I'm at camp here I usually take my time I'll have a brew and in this case we have a few ingredients here that we're gonna be making some ramen I'm absolutely hungry uh, but we're gonna put this aside we're gonna eat some ramen and then continue on with the edit all right so before we continue with this edit i am absolutely hungry by the way 
quick sip of the Lost Mine Bearings IPA. And uh, it's time for some ramen. It's sprinkling outside. It's, it's been raining the past couple of days and uh, something soupy, something warm. Sounds bomb tonight. We can get the jet boil going. Nothing fancy, but just something warm that will keep me going tonight. We have a ramen. There we go. Yes. We're gonna put our chicken in. Onions. And they're avocado. <laughs> All right, so moment of truth. Mm. So good. It is missing something. And I think the Yucateco sauce will spice it up just a bit. Oh yeah, a quick little, oh yeah. A quick little break between an edit. Some ramen noodles, chicken, Yucateco sauce and some avocado. It does not get better than that, for sure. So after some bomb ramen, I was able to finish this video. For the most part, I did want to make this video just to give you guys a quick, I don't know, just understanding or maybe just an idea of what goes behind the scenes. Um, usually when I travel three, four, five days like we are on this trip, I'll take the time to edit a video that way when I get back home, the first video or the first episode is pretty much on the air for you guys to enjoy. And uh, yeah, this is just, I don't know, something different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys haven't watched the last episode of this trip, please do me a favor check it out if you guys like it share it with your friends whether they're into off-roading camping backpacking whatever it is i mean we're all in it together we're all just out here just exploring enjoying nature for what it is and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video here's a little preview of the finished product. Awesome. It's just uh, it's green and we are uh, getting some rain, but won't stop us, right? That's right. So we're going to talk about the Ray Caddy today. Yep. This is an item that I've been using for quite some time now, and uh, I've been meaning to make a video. And as we were here, I told Jaime, why don't we just make a video together yeah, and have him talk about 
the product itself and uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I think it's it's so nice, like a kind of a clinic, you yeah, know, like a product clinic is what you would consider it. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's also such an interesting product in the sense that there's not anything similar to it on the mm. market. It's going to be pretty fun for you and I to go through your favorite parts of the Rick Hattie V2. And I can go from a designer and owner of Easy Supplies okay. and kind of maybe answer some questions if you have some that you think would come to your mind for customers um, and stuff that you've wanted to ask me about it too. So first of all, aside from the product, I, I love being able to support one of my really good friends, yep. David. And uh, second of all, just the functional aspect of it, it's nice having everything that I use at camp accessible. Yeah. Uh, my jet boil, obviously the coffee, if you like.